guys I'm thumbing trying to get back to the my start point leaving Julian figured to hike down this way and put on my sexy face I didn't want to stand by everybody else I figured they'd pick one person up instead of four I see six dudes down there so let's see if I can get a ride I'll put. it's just me and the serial killers now just kidding Eric just left I'm by myself from now on All right, guys, I'll get back to you soon. All right, guys, looks like I'm on my own. Eric has gone back to the civilian life. He's back at Lake, uh, Lake. Okay, hiker, friends. Looks like I'm on my own, leaving Scissors Crossing, heading off to Warner's. I figured I could do two 15s and get there. Um... Let's see, so I'm going to be climbing about 2,000 feet, um, approximately over the next past five miles or so. Anyways, Eric had to go back to work life, so this is what I wanted. I think I travel faster alone. You know, I, you know, I get a lot of good personal time when I'm out here by myself, I think. Gives me a little bit of clarity when I'm by myself. It feels good. So, as you can see, this is Scissors Crossing. There's a bridge back there. People are kind of straggling out. We'll be heading up that mountain right up there. There's a hiker right there. See him? That's where we're going. Right up that mountain. Zigzagging all the way up. All right. It's about four o'clock, maybe a little after. I plan on hiking about five hours into the evening tonight. I prefer to hike the, the desert in the evening so I don't sweat as much. Plus, you know, you can't really see where you're going, so you can really tr travel faster when you're just one foot in front of the other. So. My knees are feeling okay, a little sore, but it's life. Right off the get-go, I started walking through a barrel cactus farm. Pretty flowers at the bases. I love these cactus. These big round ones. Okay guys, see that bridge way down there? That's where all the hikers are holding up. That is Scissors Crossing Bridge. And as you can see, we're I'm climbing out of Scissors Crossing right now. Pretty cool view. As you can see, I got a hiker in front of me, so I figured to pull my phone out so I didn't pass him. But out of that mountain to these mountains. Oh joy. The cactus flowers are beautiful. They're all over the place coming out of these barrel cactuses. But it, right now the temperature is uh, feels like 70, high 70s with a breeze coming around this ridge here. That's mile marker 77 down there. I'm going to push for 92. That's where the water is at. So I like to camp near the water source. Makes me feel a little bit more comfortable in these early days. Especially when hiking alone. 
I gave Eric my knee brace, the one that, uh, okay, you know, just in case I get injured, but my knees have been feeling pretty good, so I took that weight out of my pack. I sent a jacket ahead with him. Got that out of my pack. So I'm just carrying a base layer with me right now and my puffy jacket and my long sleeve shirt. That's it. And then I'm looking at uh, in a day it should start raining. I have my poncho with me. See, as you come around the ridge there, it gets windy. There's a lot of wind coming through this valley. Like I said, though, I uh, bounced a few things ahead to Paradise Cafe. Eric's a good enough friend. He's going to send that forward for me. And uh, just to get the weight out of my back. Get my crampons and stuff before uh, I start climbing San Jacinto. But right now it's still and will be desert climates for the next eh, 600 miles or so. Glorious Lord. Alright, you guys. See you soon. As you see, trail zigzags like we're goats all the way on this ridge. All the way up there around that corner. It's not that steep of a fall. It might take a little while for you to stop, but yeah. The wind's nice. Keeping me cool. Awesome, yeah. So people behind me are gonna get some beautiful flowers still at least. like four different types of farn. There was one more. There it is. That's another one. I don't know if you guys can see that flat bill. It's like a beaver tail. One right there. So it's putting off some pretty yellowish pink flowers too. These barrel cactus. See, look at this. Look at these barrel cactus. Pretty yellow flowers coming out of the top. And look, there you see, there's those pink ones coming out of, out of those uh, beaver tail looking cactus. And you got these beautiful bad boys. They're so pretty. Look at that. What a nice place to sit. I'm over here. Chill and look at Scissors Crossings from over here. I just crossed over this ridge. There's another hiker. Me and him been leapfrogging. He's kind of doing his own pace too. So we got four different flowers out of these cactus. Pretty, huh? See what I mean by jumping? Look at that. That thing's. I didn't do that. It's a ball of cactus that came off of those things there. When I was a kid, I called them jumping cactus. So these things, they stick to you good. They got little barbs in them. Made me feel drunk when I was a kid when they got stuck. But anyways, look at that. That beetle has no fur.
telling you, it is so beautiful up here. I think I've walked about three miles. And it is amazing. Look at this. I'm about to turn the corner. I mean, how much more prettier it going to get? See the trail came around there. We're switched back it all the way up here. Pretty good climb. Nice and gradual. But no problems here. Got a hiker coming up. I believe that's Palomar. I know Julian is up in there, but I believe that's Mount Palomar, right there in the, right behind the uh, peak back there. You guys don't need to take vacations. You can just watch these videos. You'd be at peace. You get out of the way this hiker is coming quick. Wow. Okay. How you doing? He's got a little tingly and achy halfway up, but like usual, all the pain, I work through it. If I didn't, I'd have to pull over, which I've had to do a couple times. Look at all these yellow flowers. I've been taking my allergy. Well, I don't even really have much allergies, but when they kick in, like the hay fever and stuff, I'm hurting. So I've been taking Claritin take whatever you like but I suggest if you do get hay fever or anything you take it because there's flowers all over these that are just blowing everywhere you can't see little seedlings Rosy bow out in the middle of the desert. No water to be seen. It's beautiful. Don't hate. Just appreciate. He's about two feet long, guys. Yeah. Cutie pie. I'd kiss him. I'm gonna call him Hollywood. Hollywood. All right, so everybody step over Hollywood. <laughs> Go ahead, Mr. Blister. <laughs> Rosie Boa. He's gray with rust stripes. Very cool. Very deserty. Never seen one in this environment. 